Uh, Mark, what's going on? Hey. What's up? Up? what's up, Mark? Yo. I just want to let you know that I'm drunk right now, okay? Yeah. And I took boxers. You took what? The muscle relaxers. The muscle relaxers? I mm -hmm. took ten of them. Ten of them. All Please right. Tell yeah. me you're driving, so you're you're trying to kill yourself, sir. Yeah, more or less. That's a pretty good way to do it. Oh, and I want to talk you. to you guys before I die. What's the matter, dude? Why do you want to do that? Well, go for a Well, yeah. I got dumped too. So what? You just move on. It sucks, but you move on. Your girlfriend what? dumped you, so you decided to take some muscle relaxers. Dude, dude, even. I'm sorry, I did not mean to curse. Hey, you don't want to curse in your last uh, couple of I know of that. I listen to you guys every day. Yeah, don't curse. I mean, you're going to ruin your life. Don't ruin ours. <laughs> <laughs> what would you, what'd you, what'd you take? What would you take, really? Hey, uh, I drank a cup of vodka. Yeah. I had four shots of Black House. Yeah. And I took ten of these muscle relaxers that I got prescribed to me a couple months ago. For what? Uh, my back. Read the label. What's the uh, actual name of the drug? You want me to read them? Go ahead. Uh, let me turn off my air conditioner because it's like too noisy. Hey, we. Nah, you don't want to stink. If no one <laughs> finds you, leave that AC blasting. All right. I uh, uh, read the label. Read the label. It says may cause drowsiness. <laughs> Alcohol may intensify this effect. What's the name of the actual thing? That's a carbamol. What? Methacarbamol. Methacarbamol. Spell that. M E T H E T H O C O C A R A R B A M O L. All right. All right. Let me see that. And where do you live, Mark? Yeah. Rick. I live yeah. in Haddon Heights, New Jersey. Right. Silly. You live in where? Haddon Heights, New Jersey. All right. Right out of Philly. Right out of Philly? Yes. All right. And uh, what's your last name? Mark? Yeah. What's your last name? Uh, I give my last name. Yeah. What? I don't think I should give my last name. Ah, oh, then you're cool. You don't want to die. All right. How long were you dating what? this chick for? <laughs> how long were you dating this chick for? Yeah, how long were you with her for? Yeah. Mark, are you falling asleep? No, but I'm saying... Mark, you, you're... What are you on your cell phone? You're on a cell phone, with Brent. Which means you're in a car or something. Mark! I'm in front of my house. You're in front of your house? I have a phone in my house. What? All cell phone. Hold on. Mm -hmm. He's got no cell phone in his house. Should we save his life or let him die? Well, I got what distracted because our Miss Pac-Man machine arrived. Oh, thank oh, God. God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Screw this. <laughs> Woo! Think I'm kidding? Did you see that guy wheel the Miss Pac-Man machine past the nice. door? Nice. We're going retro around here. Thank God. We got the uh, we got the foosball table. <laughs> oh, is that dedicated to our little friend on uh, the phone? Is he still here? Hello, Mark. Yeah. You're full of crap. You're on a cell phone. I know I'm on a cell phone. All right. Why are you on a cell phone? Because I don't have a home phone. You don't. You don't have a home phone. No, I owe Verizon too much money. All right. Is that why you're going to try to off yourself? Oh, well, dude, dude, this girl, just like, I was doing bad. I was I was in a poor living situation. And this girl gets me into an apartment and got me a really good job. And now she wants to leave me. What's the... I thought um, you said she left you. She's leaving me. She's in the process of leaving me. How long are you dating her? Six months. Uh, ugh, six months and you're going to kill yourself or some broad? Are you nuts? Six yeah, months? I love her. Don't stop oh, it. I man. love my ex girlfriend too. Who cares if she's living or dead? How old stop did you say it. he was? How old are you? Um, I turned 21 on Saturday. Ah, geez, dude. That's a little too young to off yourself. Look at Mr. Tools. He's still hanging on to life with his artificial heart. I mean, he sees yeah. value in it. Dude, if you're a Met fan and you kill yourself, I almost understand. <laughs> but if some boy well, after six months dumb shift, come on, stop. Well, I, guess I, should die. I guess I should die because I am a Met fan. All right, well, all right, Mark. Oh, we think you're full of crap, man. What's the... I, uh, let, I know you... you know, okay, listen. I know you guys... I'm just... I'm out here for an intention getter. But the whole thing is, if I do die, I don't know if I will die. Yeah. I just wanted to talk to you guys, because I think you guys are totally awesome. All right. Hi, right, Mark. Well, maybe you should, uh, like, tell us what street you're at so we can uh, 
Save your life. Yeah, save your life. And, dude, you're not 21. It's illegal for you to be drinking. I am 21. Oh, okay. I turned 21. Hey, Mark? I'm August 18th. Mark, if we save your life, we will give you tool tickets. They're coming to Philly. You want to do that? We'll, we'll trade your life for a pair of tickets. How's that? Cool. It seems pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, right? All right, what do I got to do? All right, hold on. And then we're going to need your address to send you the tickets, though. All right, that I can. You promise me you'll send me tool tickets. We promise we will give you tool tickets. Yeah, but we have to give you our address out so someone can save your life, and then we'll give you the tool tickets. See, see how that works. All right, I just don't want to give my address on the air, though. All right, give it off the air. But give all right, it to who do I got to talk to? Well, now, can... Wait, but we need some. We need to send someone over there. Just get his town name and call them. Yeah, what, what town again? I'm in Haddon Heights. And you, right. you took what? Ten um, muscle relaxers. Yeah. And you lots of alcohol in you? Um, well, I I drank about a... Oh, you keep breaking up, dude. We want to save your, save your life, but we got to make it sound good for the radio. All right. <laughs> Do you hear... This don't make, don't this make him work for it. Right. This isn't Rich Voss, is it? <laughs> you almost hear him talking over yeah. the big teeth of his. Yeah, I'm in the studio right now, bro. What? No, it's Jim Norton. Jim Norton's in the studio. All right, I'm sorry. Mark, all right, who can we call to, like, save your life, and then we'll give you the tool tickets? Because we got to be able to save your life to give you the tickets. Someone's well, saying, my, someone is saying this. Be... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rachel wants it on this. Uh, Rachel. Yeah. What's up? What's up? You tell me. Nothing. Uh, what I want you... tool tickets. The kid's not going to die. Oh, it... <laughs> throw yourself in front of a bus. Look at this. They, now, <laughs> now there's people going, he's not going to die. Give me the tool tickets. <laughs> See that people are trying to take your life for tool tickets. That's so great. Mark, I might have to give the tool tickets to someone else. They say they say you're not gonna die. You don't really don't sound think... close to death's door. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to curse. Yeah, they'll get it down the hall. You don't sound as close to death's door as you would if you drank so much vodka and took ten muscle relaxers. <laughs> all all I know is this I just want this like emotional pain to go away. All right, give out your address on the air. If if a guy stops uh stops in front of your house and sees you in the car on the cell phone and can and can verify that it's you, I'll give you tool tickets. That means I have to go outside then because I'm inside you, my living room. You said you were outside the house before. I said I'm inside. Oh, I'm right, breaking up. Well, yeah. Right, I'll tell you what. Yeah, you, you go outside in your front lawn, on your front lawn, you give your address, first guy that shows up that can verify that it's you, then we'll give you the tool tickets. Then ticket. you get the tool tickets. All right, hold on one, hold on one sec. All right. Are you there? Yeah. Yeah. What do, What do you got to do? And if you don't want people to know you're dressed, then like uh, go to the you know go to the corner and give us the the you know give us the corner you're on. Right. Uh, what corner? Uh, what? Come on. He's gonna give the corner. I'll have better reception in a minute. Wait a minute. He's going outside. He's going outside. Is that like a better reception? Could you get a new cell phone plan before you die? This stinks. <laughs> My cell phone sucks. Never buy a new phone. All right. So where are you going now, Mark? I'm going outside and have better reception. What? He's got a reception. All right. Buy a Motorola, he said. Well, I know you're ready to drop dead and all, but we're doing a radio show here. Snap it up. Right. Don't sound so depressed. If we're going to save you, we've got to save you before the commercial break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this isn't sponsored. You know. Yeah. This guy's suicide sponsored by Sam Horny Goat Weed. Right. That's a great ad for Sam. Hello? Hey, Mark. All right, where hey, are can you? you guys hear me? Yeah, yes. now we can hear you nice. All right, because, like, I'm, like, outside now. I'm by my truck. All right, you're by your truck. What street are you on? Uh, well, I don't want to give my exact address, but I'll give you the cross street. Right. Give the cross street. Here's how it's going to work. You're going to give a cross street. Someone okay. that's in that area is going to drive by. Then we will talk to that person and talk to uh, you, and you get the tool ticket. And guess what? The person that shows up first to save Mark's life will also get tool tickets. How about that? Mark? Uh, I am on the corner of the Black Horse Pike. Wait, wait, hold on. It, it crapped out. Say it again. I'm on the corner of the Black Horse Pike. Black Horse Pike. Uh -huh. Black Horse Pike is the name of the street? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Also known as Route 168. Okay. And Narbeth Avenue in Haddon Heights. And Narbeth Avenue. All right. First person that gets there. And uh, saves his life and gives us a little lowdown on what's going on. Gets tool tickets and you get tool and tickets. And you'll get tool tickets as well, Mark. Unless you're dead already, then uh, we are not obligated to give you the yeah. tool tickets. All right, let me ask you this. Yeah. All right. Let's say I do die. Yeah. You're not going to die. If, if you just gave out those two streets, you're fine now. 
Why? Uh, I, I, honestly, yeah. I want to die because I just want the pain to go away. Oh, it'll go away. Tool is great. <laughs> I just... Dude, you know what's going to happen? You know, don't... In a year or two, if we give you the not tool even ticket... you're going to look back and go, God, was I a dick. If we give you the tool tickets... And then you uh, off yourself before the tool show. There's going to be a lot of pissed off people there. Pretty pissed. Yeah. Because then, well, you know, someone else could have gone to tool. All right. Did you really give those streets? What's those, that? Those were the real streets? That is, I swear to God. Black uh, horse, I, pike. You, you better watch out when you swim. Black right horse, pike. Yeah. And Narbeth Avenue. I'm standing right on the corner. All right. Know what sucks about this? There's a long delay. So it's going to take a while before people get the Yeah, it's going to take a while for Philly to get out there. I know. You uh, guys have a... It's about a five-minute delay. Five minutes outside Philly? All right. Oh, yeah, by I'm the way... Ten minutes outside Philly. Right, hold on. Yeah, by the way, Tool's going to be at the First Union Center Thursday, September 27. Tickets go on sale this Saturday at I 10 a.m. I love this show. For Ticketmaster. <laughs> hold on. I want to see if uh, Sean's close. Hold on. First person that shows up will get Tool tickets, and Mark will get him as well. Sean! Dude! Are you close to where he's at? Yeah, I'm on King's Highway. I'm heading up uh, towards Black Horse Pike. I'm about two minutes from Black Horse Pike. All right, first person there will get the tool tickets. All right, cool. Yeah. Hey, do me a favor. Yeah. Ask him if I make a right or a left on the Black Horse Pike. Uh, uh, Mark, which, where, where are you, are you coming from? from? Mark? Are you coming from Delmar or Haddonfield? Haddonfield. He sounds You're pretty lucid left. now. Yeah, you are. I'm going to make a what? Is that you right? Yeah, yeah, someone just pulled up. All right, hold on. a red escort. Uh-oh. Now, if someone pulled up in a Volkswagen right now. All right, well then, Sean, uh, we'll have to let you yeah, go. Do you want some those bags? <laughs> someone else showed up already. All right. Don't, All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. Go back to Mark, who is sounding very lucid now. What's going on with that? Him? Hey, Mark. Mark, you, yeah. you sounded a lot more effed up before. Okay, yeah, someone just showed up in my on the corner here. Is it a Volkswagen? Yeah. All right, give them the phone. All right, they want to open ass and want to talk to you. All right. Tell them to drive, drive away with his phone. No. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's your name, man? Hey, this is Dan. Dan, how, how effed yeah. up does this guy look? Ah, right, somebody else just pulled up. What's up? Does this guy look <laughs> effed up? Ah, uh, he looks pretty whack. He looks pretty whack? Yeah, his eyes are all all messed up. Are they? Um, show, Ask him to show you the, the bottle of pills. You got the bottle of pills, man? And this hey, is you got the bottle? Want. They want to see the bottle. They want to, I got to run for my apartment. Alright, you want to wait while he runs up? I'm going to pull up to his parking lot. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. This is who you want to see in your life, too. Somebody tired right, run up, the O&A lister. <laughs> hey, Dan. I don't know. There's some other guy here, I guess. I don't know. There's going to be a lot of people there in a few minutes. Dan. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yo. Are you uh, a huge Tool fan? Yeah, I sure am. Uh, you were the first person uh, on the scene to save Mark's life, so you got a pair of tickets <laughs> to see Tool at the First Union Center, Thursday, September 27th. Tickets going nice. to sale Saturday. How do I uh, collect those? Uh, you'll stay on the line. Oh, I, I, does the guy Can like... I give you my cell phone number, too? Because this guy is terrible. Yeah, hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it all out. But we just want to make right. sure this guy is uh, going to be all right. Man. Let's go through all some right. of the overdose symptoms of uh, methacarbamol. All, all right. right. Uh, if nausea. He's not whack. Do I still get the ticket? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of appetite, headache, severe weakness, fainting, breathing difficulties, irritability. He's trying to look like he was sweating. Some seizures. Up. Feeling of wow. paral paral paralysis. Profuse sweating. Is he sweating? Yeah. He just he, I wouldn't say profuse. He was wearing like a black T-shirt and stuff. Though he was out here sweating. He looked, some other. Some guy just ran up with him. He looks pretty effed up though. Ah. Uh, not real. I mean, I wouldn't call like nine one one if you know. Right, right. Wow, you wouldn't believe. Well, I guess you probably would believe how many people are out here. He better be dying. Wow. Yeah, yeah I hate to think we saved somebody who didn't need to be saved. I, these tool tickets are very valuable for our radio. Yeah, show. and we're just giving them away. Oh wait, now, so there's about ten guys. Apartment. Oh, <laughs> uh, you won't let anybody out. Oh, here he comes. All right, he's coming back out. Uh, he's got the bottle of vodka. Does he have the pills on him though? You got the pills on you? Let me talk to them real Hang on, hang on. Oh, the cops are there. Yeah. 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 Let me talk to them. I want some tool tickets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I got the police here. Ah, there you go. Well, good. Uh, I guess they want the phone. That's fine. Make sure you get me back for those tickets. Hang on. All right. Uh, we got to take care of Dan and Mark. Hey, police guys. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hello. You, you cop? Hello. Uh, all right, we got the cops there. Here, guys. Hello. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, why don't we just do a road show in that neighborhood now? <laughs> yeah. We got have, like, a lot of fans in that uh, neck of the woods. We got enough people there. Hey, what's going on? Somebody better tell us what's happening there. Hello? Get there. Right, well, we get, we well get. I don't think he's going to die. It'd be great if we get his ex-girlfriend in here to wow. <laughs> ah, that's awful. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, we can find the last number, isn't it? I'm trying to listen in it. I right, listen. Who's got the phone? Yeah, I know what. No one's talking on the phone. They're just holding it up. Who's, who's got the cell phone? Hello? Ah, uh, someone with a cell phone in the area, please give the show a call. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hello? Hello? Hello, officers? No? Mike uh, says, uh, just tell him to J.O. That might help. Can't hurt. Can't hurt any situation. <laughs> Ever. Ever. Why do they grab the cell phone and they're not talking to us? I don't know. Officer! Officer, I'm feeling really good about the fact that, um, you know, a new, a new city, Opie, and uh, the cops showed up so quickly. That's good. I'm feeling love. Where's your idea? Uh, 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 now they're rousting them. Where's your idea? Who's on the phone with the state? Island. You're the one, right? You're your girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. Come on over here, Bob. Hey, Bob. Bob, what do you think, LP? You think he's going to make it? What do you think, Bob? <laughs> Always time for a platoon reference. I understand, okay? need some help, we'll get you some help. Okay? Yeah. All right? Hey, hold on. Hey, brother. I'm All right, Mark. But I have to see the car. Sean. Yo. What's, what's happening? Yo, man, you, you would not believe how many Mark. cops are here, guys. Really? You would not believe there's got to be about ten cops here. You're the one on the phone with YSP, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, Sean, what's going on? You have to be our eyes. Well, they pulled they pulled the one guy aside and they pulled the guy who showed up first aside and they're like questioning both of them. And, and I don't think that guy Mark's messed up at all, dude. <laughs> well, he is now. Jeez, now he is. What, what what's that? Uh, they hung up the other phone. Uh, Sean, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. All right, yeah. they hung up the other uh, phone. So you got to describe what's happening. Yeah. How yeah. Many? Well, you got about uh, four or five undercover cops here. Um, you got two or three marked units, yeah. some detectives. Mm -hmm. um, they're what they're doing right now is they're questioning uh, the guy who uh, showed up first, and he's sitting here in a silver Volkswagen. They pulled him out of the car and are questioning. Oh, that poor guy uh, just showed up. The guy who. Uh, Called in and Mark, I guess he's like nowhere around. I don't even know where he went. Well, when they get out of jail, the guy, they're going to tour. I think the guy was joshing you, man. They put him in the car, I think. No, the guy that originally made the call and said he was killing himself is he there? I think he is because what I, I heard on the phone, though, dude. But I think they took him in the car because what I heard uh, from the other cell phone was the cop asking him, "Are you the guy that uh, with the girlfriend that originally called YSP?" And he said yes, and he goes, "Okay, Bob. I'm right there, Bob." Get in the car, Bob. Why are you telling yourself, Jewish? What do you think, I'll take? Sean, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Here. I don't know. Sean, how many cars are there Hold now? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, I got a bad that? feeling that's about this one, Bob. Uh, I was just showing up to see if uh, this guy was, like, telling the truth. I live right down the street. Okay. And I was just listening to the radio what show. What did you see? Nothing. I just saw the guy over there in a the silver car. He was t talking to guys on the radio. And uh, about the guy, the guy came. Well, the guy came out, and you guys showed up. Where did he come out from? He's right over here on the right hand side. He was over in there. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know. If it was a vehicle or... No, I don't. I have no idea whether he was in a vehicle or not. Like I said, I just pulled up like two seconds before you guys showed up. Just, just happened to show yeah. up. Yeah. I live in Hatton Heights, so I figured I'd just come on over and see what was going on. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. See, I can see what's going to happen here. It seems to me like the cops are going to start to think maybe we, like it was a bit. No, there's no bit. The guy not. called. The guy called up out of nowhere. Oh boy. Right. I think. I think they're actually going to arrest this guy. How could they arrest him? He called. I up? don't know. I don't know. I mean, they're looking to see if he was driving, to see where he was, where he lived, or why is being a horse is anything ass else? Illegal? I mean, you got firefighters, EMTs here. He well, you know oh, something. Man. The guy calls us up. He says he drank vodka. Black House, which is really good, by the way, and yeah, um, <laughs> and, and took uh, ten muscle relaxers. Well, you know, what are we? I think do? it's our civic duty 
to, uh, well, make sure the guy isn't BSing. You have to. Yeah. Yeah, right? So, there you go. If he's being a tool and calling up a report like that to us, um, I don't know what legal ramifications there are. Can you look hey, it up? But... I'm hooking you guys up. Can I get the tool tickets anyway? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Yeah, we'll yeah, get I like, love you guys, man. I listen to you like every day. Uh, uh, yeah, I think we got some, yeah. don't we? Yeah, we'll get Sean cause, some tool tickets. Because uh, Mark might be busy. <laughs> the day, the day <laughs> I mean, you guys are so cool. Thanks, man. <laughs> How many uh, people are there now? Uh, well, we got one, two, three undercover, couple detectives, one, two, mm -hmm. three uh, Mark cars. Don from uh, East Meadow saying he should have hid under the kiddie pool on the lawn, like that guy did in, <laughs> in Cops. You he never hide under the kiddie pool. above a, a business. Really? And now they're all now. There's a couple of them going inside uh, to see what's going on. I guess. Uh, glad to see that the cops listen to us in the Philly area. Steve, what's yeah, right? up? I think actually somebody might have called them. Steve. I know. Uh, Steve, you in the Steve, area? Steve, what's up, man? Yeah, man. Um, across the street. All right, what's going on? Uh, Stu was talking on the phone, calling you guys. Dude, he looks fine, man. The, the guy. I think that... he was just being a fool trying to get some tickets. He sounded out of it. I mean, I think you should take his tickets, and he's kind of inconvenient me because I'm late for work now. Right. Give me the tickets too. A lot of people in the area right now? Uh, about 10, 15 people. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, All right. bad time to do it, though, you know what I mean? All right, Steve, Well, thanks. the thing but is, got... it wasn't a ticket giveaway. Like, yeah. it, we, we didn't even mention that we were going to give anybody anything. We just said, if, if you get the information, we'll, you know, give us some information. There was a way to get him to we'll give, give out you his tickets. Hey, Sean, could you see the guy? Um, yeah, I saw him. He was wearing, like, a black shirt. They got him in the back of the squad car right yeah. now. Uh, all right. And they're questioning and they're questioning the guy that pulled up first in that Volkswagen. Yeah. Who got, who yeah. got there first? Working him over with a phone book. Yeah, they're questioning the guy that was pulled up first. And the, then the, wait, the guy that uh, pulled up they're, first. They're sitting there like around, like everyone standing there. Wait, who's yeah. this? Who's this? Kevin? Yeah. Uh, you're checking it out too. Yeah. All right. And if the cops are listening to the broadcast, the first guy that pulled up was just uh, pulling up to make sure this guy was okay. He'll get to the bottom of that. All right. All right. It's not like these are the same people that run around throwing bombs into buildings. Dude, it looks oh, like wait, they're dead. They're actually tearing him a new ass. <laughs> Come on, I'm kidding. Yeah. What are they doing? They're tearing him a new ass. The guy. <laughs> they're yelling and screaming at him in the back of the, the, the patrol car? They, well, they got, they got one of the head firefighters. He's in there, and he's like, and, and he looks like he's like tearing him a new ass. Like, what the F is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> the, the guy that called first is walking towards us right now. All right, uh, get him on the phone. Tell him you're on the, on the radio with us. All right, hold on. All right. They, they want to talk to you. <laughs> this is so funny. Dude, Dude what happened? Uh, is this Dan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you're the, the guy that uh, pulled up first to see if this guy was BS or not. What's run, run us through, run us through everything. You want it. Right. Run us through everything. Right, that hold, just on, hold on, hold on, because there's so much going on. Kevin and Sean, you're still on the line, but just don't say a word. Let Dan talk. Dan. Yes. All right, tell us what happened after uh, after you gave the, the phone to the cop. Uh, after I gave the phone to the cops, they took Mark, and they uh, they're talking to him right now. I'm going to pull up. And what do they say to you? Uh, well, at first, I, I don't know. At first, I thought they were, they were going to jack me up or something. They didn't know what was going on, but they're cool now. They uh, just took my knee down. And we were these guys. Come on. What are they doing with uh, the perp? <laughs> Dan. Perp. I don't know. If there's a bunch of people on the phone around here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're, they're all calling us. They're helping us out here. So. I, hope you, I hope you got a lot of cool figures. No, no. <laughs> hey, hey, Dan. Yeah. Now, does it look like this guy's effed up or not? Uh, yeah. Now that I've looked at him a little bit, he does. He definitely looks effed up. Uh, are they yeah, gonna... He's a little too relaxed. To are they going gonna... to the police car? Are they going to take him away? You think uh, the ambulance? Uh, I think is... so. You think they're taking him away? Well, I think they're trying to get him help. I don't think they're. Uh, yeah. Well, you know what? Him, right? Even if you're goofing around like that, you know, maybe you should talk to somebody. Right, yeah, on. it was stupid. I mean, they have to do something. Yeah, with yeah. Him. All right, hold on, everyone. Hold on, Sean. You. What's it's going on? Uh, well, they brought him out in handcuffs after they went up in the apartment. They uh -oh. brought down a yellow bag. They put him in the back of an ambulance. Oh, they did. And I think they might have taken him to the hospital, probably detoxing. Well, that means uh, something was going on, because if they were going to take him away and they didn't think it was serious, they would have just thrown him in the back of a police car. Yeah, pretty much everybody else is clearing out, though. The, uh, all yeah. the cops are pretty much so, the one around. So the ambulance bit. arrived, and um, is he in the back of the ambulance right now? Well, they just left. The ambulance just left. Can we get a statement from one of the cops? I don't know. Hold on a second. Yeah, ask one of the cops. Why'd they cuff him? Oh, so he doesn't uh, hurt himself. Escape. They didn't have a... Why'd they cuff you, Norton? <laughs> Criminal. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm, like, chasing, like, all of them here. Excuse <laughs> me, officer. Can I talk to you for a second? <laughs>
one of the guys from the radio show want to talk to you guys. See if maybe you give a statement. No, no. He's going to be all right, though? Pretty much? Yeah. He said he can't give a statement. All right. Uh, NYPD would have given us one. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Philly's fine. It's going to have to work on the relationship with the Opie and Anthony show. NYPD would have NYPD completely taken care like, of us. Maybe this one to rubber dolly would be all right. This effing jack off with such a pull. We threw him in the back. By the way, the guys love you guys. <laughs> That's NYPD. <laughs> Philly. No. No statement. He's fine. All right, so, Sean. Yeah. That's that's pretty much it. They uh, yeah, pretty much it. Everybody else, everybody's leaving now. All, all right. the cops are leaving. All right, so they pulled him out of his uh, apartment, put him in the back of an ambulance. He was handcuffed, and uh, they have left the scene. Yeah. Okay. I couldn't. I can't hear you. All right. Thank you, Sean. All right. No problem, man. All right, bro. Well, how about that? They've uh, taken him away, and uh, I guess they're going to check him out. Let, let's see what Dan's saying. Dan, I wonder what was in that bag. Hey, hey, Dan. Yeah. What's up, man? Uh, this is Kevin Heen, and Dan's talking on another phone. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, uh, is that pretty much what happened? Anything yeah, else there? Yeah, slowly, we slowly drove by, and uh, we looked in through the back of the ambulance, and he was he was actually strapped down, like he was on his back. He was strapped down pretty good? Yeah, they were, like, talking to him. Like, I saw flashlights gone. I guess they were looking at his eyes or something. Right. Um, the, Most of the cops are gone. And he was taken out of his apartment in handcuffs? Yeah, he wasn't handcuffed. They put him in the back of the car. The one cop looked like he was, like, about to beat him the hell up. <laughs> He was really cursing at him and like, what the hell is your problem and stuff. Right. And then uh, basically he's just in the ambulance right now. And, All right. And they took off, right? Uh, yeah. Andy, what's up? What's going on, guys? You tell us. What's going down? Uh, this is not what an epic fool this happen. kid is. You should have just let him die. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Sarah Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, then. guys. Take it easy. All right. Thank you. All right, we should take a break. Hey, Maddie, let's do a fake guy taking pills cop thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, this is how it happens. It just comes out of nowhere. Doesn't, what the hell is this? Doesn't get much realer than this today, folks. Am I the only one that now understands why his girlfriend dumped him? <laughs>